time to lecture, lecture, lecture. And of course, you see the title. Today, we got to talk about F Zero and the fate of it. So, F Zero, they had one in GameCube. And well, you kind of would figure maybe, kind of, sort of, you should put it on the Wii U. And yes, I know you put it in emulation, but I mean, re remaster. That seems like a good idea because. Uh, here we go. Here's here's everything. So apparently F Zero was just nothing but a test to see how far they can push things, how far they can push, at least how far they can push the Super Nintendo. As for the GameCube version, they were able to actually perfect it to the point of where they're like, yeah, we don't need to do anymore. We're done. We're done. That's it. It's like you guys enjoy that game. Have it for the GameCube. It's GameCube. Go get the GameCube. And I'm like. I would love to have that game, but sadly, that game is costly. It costs a buttload amount of money to get, and it's hard to even find, even if I want to strike it lucky. So I was kind of hoping that people were like, oh, the Wii U would be a great idea for him. Like, yeah, it would. It would definitely would. I mean, it makes sense. It's like, look what you did for Star Fox Zero. And it's like Star Fox Zero wasn't actually that good. That's why you're not going to have a Star Fox one. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's some bull crap. You guys suck. <laughs> it's like, well, what about you? And I'm like, well, I came a year late. So I did buy it. But I didn't buy it as much as I could have. So and plus, I actually try to get as much as I can with the little amount of budget I had back then. So it was up to you guys. And you failed. Well, the ones with the Wii U, you failed. Everyone else who didn't have a Wii U, well, there's nothing really to say, but yeah, thanks for playing. You guys can't pass go. You can't get the $200. You lose. Wait until the Wii U is like $1,000 to get. Oh my gosh. You guys will then will be sorry and be like, oh, what the fuck? That game console I said success and it's worth thousands of dollars. Oh, what the fuck? And I'm like, yep. You guys should have freaking made sure you got one. Of course, you can still get one. It's just that they're most likely in limited supply. Yeah, chances are they're limited supply. Or they're going to be soon enough or something like that. I don't know. It just depends on what happens next. So as for the F-Zero. Excuse me. They could push the limit of the Wii U. I'm like, that's what it seems F-Zero is good at is pushing the limit and yes i know but mario kart 8 has the 200 one and that's good enough and we're like yeah but what about these modders out here because i've been looking at videos of people who are like let's crank it up to one ten thousand let's crank it up to 999 it's like they're cranking it up in the wii and the wii you mario kart wii mario kart 8 they're cranking it up even faster and i'm like you see what's going on here and you would figure maybe you're able to actually nudge them to f0 because if they want to go fast we'll give them fast all right fast and controllable and plus with the wii u like you did for star fox zero is that you're able to look inside the cockpit this time and it's kind of cool where it's like hmm you could actually maybe make the touch screen have like buttons in there too so you're able to actually make your car slower than it is make it faster it's like there's lots of things you can do in there you can do lots of stuff you can even maybe make them honk the horn or you can actually change the neon colors underneath your car it's like come on there's lots of stuff you can do but then we get to the point of what about today it's like the wii u is is done they now moved on to the switch the Switch actually adds a very, very interesting idea. It's what if they bring F-Zero back and they test the Switch. Yeah, test the Switch. And also, instead of just having two controllers, you know, like the usual thing. I mean, yeah, you can use Pro Controller if you want. But I would most likely say, no, no, no. If you really want to push your limits, you have this new controller with the Rumble Pack and everything. I'm like, take that. Take that one single Joy-Con, because you're making people use the Joy-Con anyways. Take that Joy-Con and allow that to be the control. Like, the joystick of the freaking F-Zero car. And there you go. So if you turn left, you turn left, you turn right, you turn right. And you have boosters, and most likely, like, the two... I see there's two buttons. 
two buttons on it, the uh, L and R inside the, the um, Joy-Con, allow that to try to actually, you hit those with your, inside of your hand, this. And that will be how you actually can add boosters and stuff like that. And there you go. And you can actually push your freaking rumble to the limit because you are inside of that damn car. And I'm pretty sure inside of any vehicle going very, very fast, you can feel some sh So it's like, there you go. There's your push to the limit. There's your purpose of having a new F-Zero. That is what you can freaking do. And I'm, I'm just saying, it's kind of stupid where it's like, you're just going to say you've done what you needed to do with F-Zero. F-Zero is not relevant anymore. You don't really need to make a new F-Zero game. And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, but look at all the people who are still trying to freaking look through Mario Kart Wii and all that stuff at very, very fast speeds. It's like, they're obsessed with speed. I mean, why don't you give them F zero, man? Give them F zero. Give give a challenge. That's what you really need. Is give a challenge, an awesome challenge with the freaking Joy Con. It will be very, very awesome. Yeah, it's like you're able to pull forward. You're able to pull back. It's like actually allowing it to be a freaking joystick inside of the freaking F zero car. It's like as if you're inside of it. And I guess maybe you should have two modes on it. First, you should have the inside of the cockpit. Because I'm pretty sure that in every single F-Zero game, they didn't have you see inside the cockpit. This time around, you can actually do that. And that would be something cool. So it's like, yeah, added feature. And you're able to do it. And of course, the interesting part is that you don't see in lots of F-Zeros is lots of artwork. Lots of stuff awesome everywhere. Because, well, it's a good idea to add more distraction now, right? Because if you're like, oh, it's perfect and they're not able to crash as much and crap like that. And it's like, well, give them something to look at. Give them something that they're like, have to stop and look at and get crashed <laughs> because of the person behind them. It's like, fuck you, I'm going fast. <laughs> it's like, yes. It's like, my goodness, you, you have to actually slow down to look at stuff. It's like, yeah, someone has to actually be the person who's going to get hit every single time. And it's like, oh, my gosh, look at all the stuff that's decorated. Oh, look, there's Mario. Oh, my gosh, look, there's Samus. Oh, my gosh. It's like, that would be freaking cool. That would be freaking damn cool. It would have been even cooler if you allowed freaking Miiverse, allowed to be an OEU with the Miiverse. Oh, my gosh. If you're able to do that and it's decorated all around. <laughs> Yeah, they people will freaking stop. People will freaking get crash. Lots of people will just be like, "What the frick? I'm trying to look at this stuff." <laughs> it's like, Pfft. it's like, yes, that that would have been freaking damn funny. But I'm just saying, you guys have a reason why to bring F Zero back, and it's to push your Joy Con. It's actually push it to the limit. See how far you can actually go with it. And if you're true to the matter, you're gonna say, "Oh, well, it's not able to do that." Then there you go, man. I'm pretty sure that just means that the next version of the Switch, you better upgrade your Joy-Con so you can actually have that game. It's kind of like what happened with the freaking damn, not Switch, the freaking damn Wii. The first Wii doesn't have Wii Motion Plus. So you actually had to have a thing to install into it. And yes, you could do that for the Switch, I guess, but that doesn't make sense. It's like, yeah pretty sure what you need to do is actually have the joy con it's like what you did it's like yeah you sold those separately instead of having the freaking thing that you have to shove up the so you, you understand you get it you get what i'm trying to say you can actually have f-zero to be the one that challenges the joy con to push it to the limit to actually see how far you can actually take the joy con it's like, oh, it's, you can actually hear you drinking a glass of water and stuff like that. Well, what if you're actually trying to drive a freaking damn car? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it doesn't really feel like you're actually driving a car whatsoever. Well, of course, technically, I'm not even using. Yeah, I don't even remember. You know, every single time I played in Walmart, I'm pretty sure I didn't feel any of the rumbles and the bumping and stuff like that. So I'm just saying. 
this game would be the perfect time to actually capitalize on your Rumble HD. I'm just saying. There is a purpose for F-Zero now. It's to actually push to the limit to see how far you can actually take that controller. As for the um, other controllers, it's like, yes, you can do it. And yes, it's a good idea to have it in other modes. Yes, allow it to have the... um. Allow it to have the GameCube function because you already have the GameCube function in there. So allow the GameCube function to be there. Allow it to install the freaking um, Pro Controller for the wussies. But for the ones who really want to have a challenge, to have fun, to actually try something very, very new, to actually be like, whoa, where the frick did this game come from? Use your Joy-Con, push it to the limit, see how far you can actually take that Rumble Pack, that Rumble HD and see how far you can actually push that freaking controller.